What was that noise? <laughs> that sounded kind of scary. Anyways, welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. I'm uh, level 23 right now. Oh, it must be a creature nearby me. All right, so this is what I got up to. Here's what I did. I farmed the arena a little bit. By the way, all the like support greatly appreciated. Really can't thank you enough for supporting this series. I am determined. We're going to finish this. We're supposed to meet Sebastian right up here. It's the next main quest. It was locked behind level 22. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, like, I haven't looked at the menu in a while. Like, I've just been fighting enemies. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's it. So, I'm going to do this. Probably going to be able to do, like, the next few missions, and then it'll stop me, but we shall see. But yeah, farm the arena a little bit. The thing is, the XP stops. Most of the XP, if not all, comes from challenges. For instance, take down 100 spiders, stuff like that. Once you do those, you don't get XP from those enemies anymore, as far as I know. So I did that as much as I could. It didn't get me too much more, but it was enough to kind of get us by for hopefully a few videos. All right. Love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. We're going to wait twice. Watch this. Oh, no. We're good. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I finally realized what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's, uh... So I'm bothering. I, think, I hope I'm not getting sick right now. All right, perhaps we can avoid detection. I think we uh, we do this one. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Normally, I would say stealth. I mean, if we see an option to be stealthy, yeah, I'll do there it. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No witch or wizard will be. I might as well go invis for a little bit. Not too much though. No one enters this mine. Hold on, let's listen Kill to them. anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. The problem is if we do one stealth takedown, it's gonna go crazy after that. Here we go. Petrify. See, I got 10 XP for that enemy. Alright, here we go. It just done. Oh no, hold on. What the? you were born. I love throwing objects in this game. It's my actually like favorite moments in the entire game has been to like toss stuff at enemies. The combat is so well done. Of course they got. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite abilities now. I didn't know it actually threw something as well. Let so me put it on my main column. Alright, defeat 50... Oh, 51 out of 60. So we're gonna have that... That XP will be very soon. You get 10 per on those. That's kind of how the game works. You can't just farm enemies... Nice work. Indefinitely, you know. Why is this floating? Rebellion. It must be glitched. <laughs> Man, I've been playing this game so much. Even when I'm not recording, I'm like grinding the different like the challenges, get everything like kind of prepared for the next time I record. Oh my goodness. Oh, a tan nightcap. Oh, I got a nice little uh I guess the gear mod or whatever they technically call it in this game. 
Hey, I've been this enjoying uploading well. these videos. Trying to make Maybe consistent each day, too. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through, or we'll be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. He wants to be stealthy. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at Gringotts. I was only young, mine. I want the XP, like so. Lucky if I finish one. And I almost got this challenge completed. I'll get as many petrified as I can, and then I'll just start fighting. Well, too late for that. <laughs> All right, see ya. Slam, slam. That does so much damage. Alright, take this. What the? By the way, they stay in that for a little while. I'll do a wake up command here. Here we go. Wait, did they respawn or something? Oh, I see the icon. Oh wait, they're below me, I think. Right there, nice. Well, the fun All right. is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Revelio. Uh, I guess we're just gonna do this. Another one, nice. I've heard you gotta get to like a certain level to be able to get the better abilities. Like these right here, essentially. This one just looks, I mean, ridiculous. I bet it does so much damage too. You got this one, which straight shot. I don't quite know what this one does. Forces enemies to fight as they were. Oh, your companion. It's like berserk, kinda. Very nice. Oh, let me scan one more time. Can't really interact here. I think we're good so far. We also have well. I should tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice! Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. All right, the mine entrance. I just realized I haven't messed with my gear in a while. Wait, can we go up here? It's like you can climb this. Why is it so dark? Hold on. Just gold. We got. Hold on. What is down there? Doesn't this feel kind of like, like Making something's on the other progress. side? I would be surprised if this is like. Well, we'll we'll see. <laughs> I have no idea. Got to be something. Or, oh, it's a shortcut. So if you weren't gonna fight those enemies, you just take that route right there. Okay. I think it's better to fight them because you get challenges done. All the different goblin kills, you know. All right, I think we're good. Here we go. For better or for worse, we're in. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. Mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Revelio. Oh, I see why. Very nice. <sighs> Got one of the challenges, and I think it goes higher than that, though. Each enemy has a different type of stat I don't for see it. Any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. <sighs> and spiders are a pretty big part of this game. Hello. Such arrogance. Oh, they bounce off the walls and it does extra damage. And it goes to 100 now, okay. That's kind of how the game keeps you. Wait, they're not alive, never mind. Oh, 
Watch this shoot out something. I always thought it just like a force push type thing. But I guess I was wrong. Level 25 enemy. I threw it right back. That's so sick. How many Rangrock's loyalists are in here? Too many. They definitely think Dueling feats. Here they want. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. Okay. Well, I mean, we can go left or right. Let me go up here and get this. This is the chest nearby. This is the healing thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. We have this one, but oh that god. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? All right. So, oh, 65 XP for something. I have no idea what. We're clearly going to take this and move it over here. At least that's what I think we're doing. Um, let me... Put it right here. Well, that actually might... That might be good. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs. Or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. We gotta build this back, it looks like. I'm assuming... Is that right? Hold on, let's go down here first. We had something to the left. It was like a chest. Am I stuck? Okay, because this is there. Okay. Can I change spells in the middle? I guess I can. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and put this right here. There we go. Climb up and then build this really quick. Now I can swim under it, I think. It was kind of blocking me there. Very nice. Somebody asked me what my favorite, like, early year series I've ever done is. Unidentified, okay. It's tough. It's really tough because a lot of games that are really good don't come out till later in the year, like Spider Man, God of War. Stuff like that. This being one of those types of games, I feel like. But it's a February release. So, I don't know. I think RE7 was a January release, if I'm not mistaken. That was pretty wild. What? Oh my god. Why is the camera panning in like that? I see it. You don't have to show it to me. Get a little fire. Here we go. If you, okay, once they're on fire, if you shoot them while they're like burning, they detonate. I'll show it to you really quick. Uh, here, well, right there. Pop, there it is. <laughs> Something I learned during that battle spider. arena thing, I did I so much. Tonight. Search that, we got some gold. Let's get it, baby. Revenia. Take these. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. That's extreme danger. Okay, yeah, it comes back over time. Let's go this way first. Well, actually. Rebellion. Can I knock this over? Where the first one didn't do anything. Your slots are full. Well, time to delete stuff. I'm at a point where I have so much money, it really doesn't matter. Oh, we got challenges I haven't even, uh... With combat. Yeah, you get a lot of this stuff. Claim all these. Oh, yeah, farm this enemy a lot. We saw this, like, early on in the game. It was kind of, like, it's, like, scattered everywhere, essentially. Um... Collect all those. We get the Halloween pumpkin mask, which I really like. Alright, I think we're good on those. All right, so, <laughs> as far as gear goes, hold on, this should be... Man, look at all these question marks. Man, I, I really need to sell some of this stuff. I can't do it right now, so what we'll do is we will... We'll delete stuff like this. It's only 60. So I'll go ahead and destroy this. It's whatever, really. All question marks. Level 21, level 23. Okay. We'll delete this one. 
I think so far the gear system is really well done. I just don't feel like putting on mod slots. I hate that it ties it to the piece. You can't just like pop it off one piece and put it on the other. I wish it was kind of like that instead. Okay, let's do this one and we'll destroy this one. Because, okay, it gives me 60, 90, and then purple is 150. I think, uh, let's see, 200 for this one. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. That's why I'm saying delete the other. Wait, this is actually new, but it's worse. All right, make some space for it at least. Uh, let's put this back on. I think we're good. Now I got a few slots open at least. Now let's get this. Of course it's better. <laughs> back to the menu we go. It's funny because I wasn't sure. Man, 50? Oh my goodness. We'll destroy this one. It actually looks kind of cool though. But I've been sticking with the same transmog the entire game. Okay, Merlin Trial Challenges increase your gear slot capacity. Okay. I don't think that'll be a problem, though. Man, these spiders need to go on somewhere. Wait, I just realized something. Okay, never mind. A lot of people ask me why I just do like farm the enemies and challenges instead of just doing like side quests. It's because when I record videos, I want to actually make like story progress. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? We're going in! <laughs> Oh, hold on. That little slice is insanely strong. <laughs> Look at that damage when they hit the wall. That is. Sick. There's a lot of spiders down here. Thought there might be a few, but not this many. Okay, hold on. Okay, buddy. There we go, nice. Woo! We certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap, for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. A rune symbol. Above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Let me collect everything first. Hold on. Revelio. It's been a pretty good year for gaming so far. You know, we had the Forspoken game, we had Dead Space Remake, then we had this, then a bunch of other stuff. We got the RE4 remake on the way. I'm hyped. Give me three of these. Usually, we got one up there. We gotta burn. Looks like okay, puzzle time. We gotta move this first. We gotta burn this to get because you can't go in here. Yeah, had a feeling. We gotta go up top, burn the cobweb there, and then might be all right. We'll see. Okay, one, two, three up there. I wonder if a long range does it hold on. Does this count? I can't really control it, I guess, because you can't like lock on to the one up top there. Only the bottom one. All right. Well, <laughs> it's all good. You have to levitate. Hold on. Oh, we're good. 
All right, should do it. Collect whatever that These is. Get some gold. Not Try too much damage. Quickly. One there. One here. One here. Easy peasy. That. Explore the chamber. I'm already nervous. What we got going on down here? The world floated back to me. Okay. Watery haze. Hmm. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us Sebastian, unravel more of this mystery. I think mystery. I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Okay. Revelio. Can we break this? Alright, so I have to check on Sebastian. I thought maybe we go through here, which I'm pretty sure we're supposed to. But I think we have to talk to him first. Where's he at? Oh, here he is. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. I had a Unless feeling, okay. We can find another I was wondering, I was like, we can interact, but we couldn't. We had to talk to him first. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Rebellion. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? I'm gonna say that. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? I gotta say that every time I speak with Sebastian, he either wants me to do a bunch of stuff, or he's just, like, mean to me. I don't know. That was cruel. Here we go. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. In the shadow of the mine. 260. Where's he going? Is he trying to, like, break my ankles? What's he doing? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's even scarier than everything else. All right, how do we, uh, do we just walk out of here? I guess we do. I hope Professor Fitzgerald oh. has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. You can't go anywhere over here, I don't think. Only way out is that, yeah, it's the thing behind me. Daikon's right there, though, so we're close by it at least. All right, here we go. That was a pretty short quest. All right, let's get it. Revelio. Right down below me. All right. Follow the book. Wait, there's a chest right here. Is this one of the eye ones? Hold on. Oh, it is. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. I can get, walk up next to it. Should be 500, right? 
go to sleep. Five hundred. Look at that. That's that's so much. Might some kind soul help me? Here's my overall goal right now. I want to finish the main store, which I feel like we're near the end of the game, at least close to it. Um, each quest is like twenty to thirty minutes long. It says seven out of fourteen, so I don't imagine we got too much more left. But I don't, I don't want to like rush the story. But there's a lot of side stuff I want to check out after I finish it. I want to get those crazy spells, you know. Want to unlock all the best stuff. Try to get, I think level 40 is the level cap. I'll try to get to there, but we shall see. If they have any, like, any kind of DLC in the future, I'll be ready at least. I do that with a lot of games. I'll keep playing it after I stop recording it. But yeah, as long as these videos keep doing well, I will keep recording everything I do. Nice little load screen. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got the kites. Uh, Summoner's Court match one. Wait, what? Why is the thing taking me back over there? I remember when I was a little kid, I, uh... I did a... I went to a competition for flying kites. They had, like, trophies, uh, for everybody. It was pretty funny because... <laughs> they just, like... I feel like they just gave everybody one, no matter what. And mine was like, the highest flying kite or something like that. It was funny. I think I still have that trophy somewhere. <laughs> it's such an odd thing to win. Because you don't really do much. Just like, hold it and you're good to go. I say I go down here, but why is it taking me... Okay, I'm officially confused. Why would it take me... Okay, the man, the GPS in this game is wild. It's in the map chamber. Hold on, I'm about to just fast travel. Driving me crazy over here. Yeah, it's like... So, if we spin this around... Yeah, it's under... Oh, that's right. Hang on. Alright, if anybody ever gets stuck... Because I, it took me all the way like the water for some reason. Which is kind of odd. I mean, I understand it's under Hogwarts... Uh, you know, school or whatever. But I just feel like... The easiest way to do it is just this. Go to secret rooms. And then you got these two. So here we go. Alright, let's get it. I was confused at first when it took me to the water. I was like, that's not right. Alright, we got the third portrait. Let's get this. Welcome back. There it goes. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Wait, that was the entire quest? Just talk to her? I hope... Okay, so that actually took... How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Let's go talk to him, I guess. All right, well, I will I say that I was surprised how short that quest was. Here's my worry. Okay, it's not locked. That one actually required to be a little bit higher level. I'm 23 still, but that one went from 22 to 23. Now this one's 23. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I 
I was kind of worried. I was like, man, if I got to go farm more challenges and do side stuff, I get too distracted. But it is what it is. Here we go. Can I just... Yeah, let's just go up. Hold on, let's just fast travel. I'm making it way too complicated for myself. Uh, I think it's right... Here we go. Slowly getting the map down as we near the end of the game. <laughs> For some odd reason, it took me this long. We haven't been back here in a while. What in the world? Did y'all see that? That wasn't the video. That was like the first time the game's like lagged like that. Uh oh, here we go. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgog knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So, how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Man, this is awesome. If I'm not mistaken, the voice actor for this character is Simon Pegg, which I'm a huge fan of. Mainly because Shaun of the Dead is one of my all-time favorite zombie movies. Hot Fuzz was also good. The World's End was also pretty good. I think it's like a trilogy. He's been in a lot of stuff, like the Mission Impossible movies. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> You'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> oh, really? I like that. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. 
<clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. That was funny. Now, to determine which student gets this right. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Stand proud, pure bloods. I still have all my stuff, okay. The future is yours. But I can't scan the area. There's a cat back there. I think we're good. Uh-oh. What could the headmaster want? Don't mind me. It's like that movie, The Prestige, where Hugh Jackman just keeps cloning himself over and over. <laughs> hey, man, this tree is huge, man. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so like... I wonder Hold almost on. daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor Black, how are you, sir? Yo, everybody's trying to talk when to I me. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to- What nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I- You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Uh, please do. I actually, I don't know. Let's see. I would say the bottom one. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I. Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm. I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Man, Simon Pegg did a great job. Alright. I think, uh... Yeah, you can't do any combat abilities. There's two types of missions in this game. There's like the side stuff that I feel like you can do at any point, right? Then there's this. Which progresses the story. And that's kind of what I would like to see... More than anything right now, because I'm just very curious how this game ends. I hope it's not about anything I've oh, been no. doing. Stay away, please. The less interactions, the better, I feel like, right? 